I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy. This is all I ever asked for. Because this is what makes Marvel great. Uh. Apakah pendapat anda tentang Easter Egg? Tiamut. Dalam episod ni, dia cakap kalau dekat website tu Why there is a giant statue of a man sticking out of the ocean Happy, aku tahu benda ni kecil lah Tapi aku sangat happy dengan benda ni on two levels lah Macam aku cakap, tadi aku dah sebut Phase 4 ni dia banyak pasal experimentation And maybe dia pun take a break daripada continuity kejap lah kan Which aku faham But macam aku cakap, at the end of the day What we love about Marvel tu is pasal dia punya interconnectivity kan. So aku tak nak lah ungkit about the past. Dia dah ada sekarang, dia dah start to bring back um, the different movies and events untuk dia relate balik. So aku memang dah, situ dah happy level 1. Yang level 2 pula, kau kena ingat phase 4 ni dah lah macam, again, dia tak, dia tak celebrate that interconnectedness tu sangat. Malah, bila datang to Love and Thunder, dia badutkan lagi continuity tu. So, <laughs> kau tengoklah The, the Celestial jadi apa lah movie ni. <laughs> ah, so, at least macam sekarang ni, dia nampak macam dia dah ambil, ambil serius somewhat lah, keluar dalam berita lah. Dia macam something macam enigmatic lah. Kenapa? Betul lah, ada se, macam ada mountain size dude dekat te, apa, terpacak keluar dari laut kan. So that should be news now. People should be talking about it. Eh? So aku suka lah. Aku memang suka gila yang yang uh, menerusi She-Hulk ni. Kita start embrace balik what make Marvel great. No? Uh, so maybe sebab kita pun dah nak uh, moving towards the end of phase 4. So that experimental punya phase. So that cuti lah aku anggap. That holiday untuk the Marvel guys ni macam dah uh, nak, nak habis sekejap kan. Eh? So moving into uh, phase 5 yang aku rasa memang dia akan lagi kembalikan the interconnectedness tu oh. so tidbits macam ni is dia macam massage kita towards that lah which which I like lah so dia membuatkan uh, macam even Siri Shihau ni yes kita faham target market dia siapa yes kita faham it's a chick flick yes kita faham it's light hearted it's comedy apa semua tapi dia still establish yang but we are in the same universe And that feeling yang mereka semua berdiri dalam dunia yang sama tu That's what, again, benda tu lah yang, yang what makes Marvel great lah So, aku memang uh, sangat happy dengan this uh, Tiamut punya reveal ni eh. Sama ada, tu je kan, sama ada dia follow up dengan benda ni ke Macam She-Hulk is, dia ni all lawyer-lawyer, funny-funny stuff Dia tak follow up pun tak apa Tapi so, acknowledge lah it, it uh, Acknowledge lah <laughs> So bila bila dia dah acknowledge tu okey lah lah tu macam dia kata kenapa uh, tu pula macam pasal Wolverine tu dia macam nak tease pula um, Sekarang dia tease benda yang yang dah happen, dia acknowledge kejadian yeah. lah internal so good lah yeah. Lalu tu at the same time uh, dia pun nak set up the future pula uh, pasal Wolverine tu semua kan So macam cakap lah dia, dia it makes even a funny chick flick comedy relax show macam She-Hulk ni eh? kan kau tak hilang all those light hearted values but you can do it in a way yang dia jadi penting juga to the overall narrative so macam why not kan it's doable kita tahu doable ha, so sekarang pun dia dah buat and bagi aku dia with this alone dah buat aku sangat excited for macam what else is there memandangkan finale Miss Marvel menyentuh sedikit tentang kehadiran mutants ataupun mutation dalam MCU Uh, adakah Easter Egg Wolverine ni another step on the way to the eventual X-Men reboot movie dalam MCU Phase 6 nanti? Yang so, kita yeah. nampak kan dalam website tu, Man Fights with Metal Claws in Bar Brawl. So, adakah ini bermaksud Mutant dah wujud dalam MCU Phase 4 ni? Cuma tak ada movie. <laughs> Ya, aku rasa betul lah uh, Mutants dah lama wujud kat MCU Cuma mungkin uh, semua orang tak tahu So kemungkinan besar, ini teori aku lah, teori pasti aku lah Aku rasa uh, Professor X pakai Cerebro untuk tutup uh, Apa ni, mengaburi uh, Apa tu, semua orang punya kesedaran tentang Mutants kot So I, I get that's the only explanation lah Because like, like k- kalau selama ni ada Mutants dan mereka bukannya introduce from the multiverse but they're in the MCU originally then the only way that nobody can find out who they are is that Professor X guna uh, Cerebro untuk because Cerebro can go through the whole world kan so kemudian besar 
that's how he cover the the tracks of the mutants uh, especially for x-men uh. so but it that's the only way i i i believe so because like uh dah banyak ada teori tapi yeah, semua orang yeah. tapi kadang-kadang kita lupa pula yang apa ni power professor x tu sebab so he's a omega level mutant and then he has mm. cere- cerebro that's the only way yeah, that he yeah, can yeah. cover everything kalau cakap pasal dunia lain lah lepas tu ini itu ini tu i i think that's that would be a very a lot of weird explanation coming in. and then we do kind of expect the mutants might make an appearance in secret wars lah so kalau kalau maybe maybe what or two mutants from the X Men or any or maybe from the Brotherhood of Mutants that would be nice, but I I think this is a a, a giant tease that because that kita dah nampak ada hinting of uh, apa ni kita dah nampak Professor X in Multiverse of Madness kita dah dengar apa tu theme song from uh, the the X Men theme song animated uh, theme song from the tease in Miss Marvel. And then Miss Marvel could also possibly be a mutant. So this is like uh, Kevin Feige's way of uh, apa ni taburi breadcrumbs all over MCU, especially in, in Phase Four, so that it will prepare us for Phase Phase Five and Phase Six. Lah, I suspect we might see some mutants in Phase Five, lah, officially, lah, maybe one or two mutants, lah, because yeah, I guess that's the only way. If not, like kalau dia nak masuk Phase Six, ah. Uh, macam so phase six is secret wars and uh, apa tu kan king dynasty kan possibly yeah. time we already might have wolverine already so i suspect this is one of the ways lah it's the only way lah professor x was to reblow that's the only I way i bet you like 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 uh, wolverine balik balik mention kan eh sorry ah. macam aku gaduh dekat bar lah can you like just mind wipe everyone <laughs> eh papi lah wolverine <laughs> <laughs> pada tampak anda memandangkan screenshot dalam overlay ni Uh, menunjukkan Wolvie dengan Tiamut ni could have been done in post production adakah yep. ini merupakan satu reaksi last minute oleh Kevin 5G dan juga the writing team kepada fans yang tak habis-habis asyik bambu je macam eh kenapa tak ada connection lah pasal Eternals punya finale tu tak ada kaitan langsung dalam MCU Phase 4 I don't see it as a reaksi to the fans lah I think benda ni I'm a big believer if you have to plan it all along you know so benda ni dah lama dah plan It's just that terpulang pada Kevin Feige bila dia nak let go the information to the public lah bila dia nak letak dalam ni so yes benda ni boleh buat dalam post tapi saya rasa dia dah plan awal-awal lah dia mungkin uh, plan nak bagi tahu Eternals lambat you know so it's not something as a reaction it's something it has planned the answer is your question so okay. so I feel that uh, kalau public nak sangat connection macam Munir cakap kan tadi kan I think it's something that Kevin Feige tetap akan bagi sikit demi sikit. It's a matter of what he wants to give and what he doesn't want to give. Is we have to uh, only time will tell lah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, aku rasa lepas episod uh, She Hulk ni, I look forward to more connectivity eh, dalam siri Echo tahun depan, dalam Secret Invasion, dalam Iron Heart. You know, the devil. Biarlah lagi connected. You know, MC Phase Five nanti lebih daripada MC Phase Four. Sekiranya anda enjoy menonton video ini, jangan lupa untuk like, share dan subscribe kepada Bas Pop TV untuk lebih banyak video-video yang berkaitan dengan pop culture daripada komik, TV, filem, mainan dan juga banyak lagi. Majulah fandom untuk negara.